Remember the Eddie Munson Funko Pop? Well, that's what this video is about. So it's part 55 of the Eddie Munson Gas of Cast series. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Couples out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. So are we done talking about Eddie Munson after today? Hold on. I'm obviously like f***ed up and you're just going. You're normally so good at reading me, but you keep f***ing up today. You knocked everything off You the knocked him down. That was your freaking boisterous laughter. So is the Eddie Munson saga over on the Gas with Gas channel after I today? I f***ing hope so. Because <laughs> this has been ridiculous. Yeah. So way back when we posted a video when Eddie was sold out of all the stores because everyone finally watched Stranger Things season, was it four? Yeah. And everybody fell in love with Eddie. They ran to their target. They picked up all the Funko Pops. And then he was going for ridiculous prices. And we said, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Don't get your panties in a bunch. They'll restock. Yeah, we said that a lot in a lot of videos. A lot. And then Target never restocked them. No, and the reason <laughs> is, the reason is, so listen to this. It was due to restock in October. Apparently, too much time had passed for them to restock because after a certain amount of days, they go to salvage. They literally cannot sell them. Yeah, Target basically has to, like, dispose of them. Yeah, so they were found in a couple Ollies somewhere. I don't even remember where. Yeah. And then most recently, they were found in a discount store. Wasn't it called, like, Box and Save or something? No, that's an old grocery store around here. Oh, what's it? what was it called? Like, Save a Lot? I think so. Something, I forget. No, Save a Lot's another grocery store that was from around here. Eddie Munson's $2 each. Goodbye. <laughs> that's what the name of the store is. So somebody actually went to the store and picked up some of the Eddie Munson's, and we're going to show them here on the channel. Additionally, we're going to have some to give away. Ooh, we are. We're going to be giving away one Eddie Munson during this video, so make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video, because we're going to tell you how you can win this Eddie Munson. Then we're also going to have another one that we're going to give away during our Patreon call, which is this weekend. And this weekend on the 18th, we're going to have a blast. We're going to talk about all things Mischief Toys. We're going to talk about Gasly, and we're going to show our brand new figure, the Monstro. It's going to be amazing, and you're not going to want to miss out on it. And, and we got a ton of giveaways. Any Munson is just one of the giveaways. Okay, not just giveaways. We're going to hang out with all our friends. And we're hanging out. No, I'm just saying, like, there's a lot that happens. It's hard to remember it all. So check out patreon.com slash castlecast. But even better, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content just like this video. And hitting the like button helps the channel in a really big way. And while we're at it, head over to poppingofftoys.com and use promo code castlecast to get 10% off. That's right, you can get 10% off over at Poppin' Off Toys by using promo code GASLECAST on their Funko Pops, Funko Sos, Funko Mystery Minis. They've got all sorts of stuff over there, so go and check them out, poppinoffToys.com. So, we have other boxes to open as well. Yes, we do. I went to the BO box and we got all sorts of cool stuff. You went to the BO box, did it smell like body odor? <laughs> I said PO box. You, you heard me said BO box. I went to the 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 post office box and I picked up a bunch of packages. We also got something from Funko Shop. You got something from Amazon. We got something from Funko HQ. We got so many things. It's so exciting. It's crazy. So, Heather. What do you want to start off with? It's totally up to you. Hmm. This box is from our friends Katrina and Travis. And I know exactly what this is. They DM'd me the other day. So there's a letter and there appears to be some candy. Ooh, double bubble bubble gum. Heather and Chris, seen this today and thought of you folks. Thought you might enjoy a new addition to your collection. Hoping to bring a smile to your faces as you have done for so many of us. Have we? I feel like we bring a lot more groans and cringe. I think that they're laughing at us and not with us. <laughs> I would assume so. Thank you for being the amazing people you are. Thank you for sharing your love and passion with us. Thank you for bringing the love of collectibles to another level. Most importantly, thank you for bringing us all together as a family. We hope you enjoy your Handmade by Robots ghost face. Oh, no. With all our love and support, Trina and Travis. Oh, my God. They sent the Handmade by Robots? 
So if you guys don't already know, we absolutely love Handmade by Robots. It's a great company, and they release a lot of really great figures, especially horror figures. Mm -hmm. They're big on the horror. And oh my god, they sent us this one. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I have been wanting to see this in person for a long time. He's been all over the internet. It's Ghost Face with Devil Mask. Yeah, so if you've never seen Handmade by Robots, we've talked about them quite a few times. But they look like they're made out of, I, I always forget the word, <laughs> like crochet? I don't yarn. know. Yarn. Yarn, they look like they're made out of yarn. They're really great. They have the little tags on them. But the story behind them is that a robot is trying to make you something that looks like it's like handmade. Yes, because people love handmade gifts. Right, so they're making a handmade gift, but it's by robots, so it's made out of vinyl. And these figures are amazing, and they're showing up everywhere, and we couldn't recommend them more. These are f***ing awesome. I know, and I now, know. look, we got a bloody one, and we have the devil horn one. They look so good together, and I have a glow. Look how different the masks are. I thought they were going to be the same, but they just added horns, but they look, like, different. You can yeah. actually tell a difference. That's cool. That is cool. Very good. These are awesome, and thank you guys so much for sending this to us. Speaking of handmade, we received the sweetest Valentine's Day card from our friend Lori. It is so cute. It says, head over heels about you, and you can open it, and on the back it has a really sweet note. She wishes us a happy Valentine's Day. She's really, really excited about our newest Ghastly figure, the yeah. Valentine's Ghastly. And she says something very important that I think that we all need to hear right now. Enjoy life every day. And then she says, just love you both. And it says hand stamped by Lori. So this is all by her. This is really cool. So Lori, thank you so much for this card. It is so lovely and we really, really appreciate you. By the way, there's little like hearts on it. Yeah. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. It actually has like little heart pieces on it. That's so cool. Thank you, Lori. You're so awesome. See, we have handmade by robots and, and handmade, handmade by, by Lori. Lori. You got the trash with Oh, it. sorry. And handmade by Lori. <laughs> okay, let's open this one next. We have a lot up here. But let's yes. open this next because this is a Drop Funko Pop. This yes. actually is a My Little Pony Pop. But look, I just want to uh, show. Look how the box was packed in there. Uh, not great. It's sort of open. One of our friends nervous. actually posted that our box was damaged in transit. I'm hoping that ours isn't that bad, yeah, but I, I hope guess we'll so. find out. So our friend Tino very selflessly just sent this to me, which I'm so excited about. Okay. By looking at it, the box looks fantastic. I mean, Good. overall looks fantastic. It doesn't look like there's any damage. And this is Queen Chrysalis, and this is a 1550 count. So according to Drops Discord, the amount that were actually redeemed of this Funko Pop, 1465 okay. out of 1550. She's just incredible. Oh my God. I didn't know that. Whoa. Oh my God. This is a great looking Funko Pop. It is. So I wanted her because she's like dark. She looks like an emo pony. Like emo, yeah. Like I called her an emo pony. And I think that she's just so pretty. But she she has like Swiss cheese hair, which is yeah. odd. But then she has these wings that I didn't know about. So there she is, Queen Chrysalis. And as you can see, she does have like some holes in her and stuff. She does have like a Swiss cheese look, especially in her hair. But look at those really neat looking wings. And they're like translucent. And then she also has what looks to be, I don't know if this is supposed to be a crown or what is on top of her head. Uh, but she also has like a unicorn sort of horn. I'm not really into My Little Pony, but this is a great looking fungal pop. I know nothing about My Little Pony, but I just... I loved her look, and I'm so happy to have her. Glad to see that the box came in okay. There's no damage, a lot of dust on it, but that's something we expect from NFT Funko Pops. For whatever reason, a lot of them come in just covered in what looks to be like warehouse soot. So this Funko Pop is from our friend Devante, and this is a Miles Morales Foot Locker exclusive, half translucent. This is a great looking Funko Pop. I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited for the next Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse film, which is Across the Spider-Verse, I think is what it's called. Devante actually offered this for like a super, super low amount. And he only wanted what he paid for it. Yeah, and we could not take that. We wanted to give him a bit more, so we did. But he still gave it to us for lower than PPG. So we just really appreciate you, Devante. You're awesome. You're a great friend. But look what he sent it in. It's like the type of protection, like almost like a pop shield armor, but on top it says Dark Parlor Originals. So yeah, apparently they're doing their own hard stack with a magnetic top as well. Very nice though. Very nice and very um, tough. 
And I just want to note that Devante takes very good care of his Funko Pops because this thing is super, super mint. Ooh, I forgot about this pop. This is Bigfoot from Funko HQ. Are you excited? I'm super excited. And this is from one of our very good friends, Dylan, who lives actually not too far from Funko HQ. Like he steps away from Funko HQ. Yes. This is a great looking Funko Pop. And I know this was one of the ones that people are going crazy about right now. I think that a lot of people are interested in this pop because he's a Bigfoot and the Bigfoots hold a lot of value. But I think people are also super into Funko Pops that are black light. Yeah, they've slowed down a bit it seems, but I think what is overwhelming about the black light is they'll do like five plus Marvel ones at the same time. Uh, yeah, they overdo it. But this yeah. guy's awesome and I'm glad to see this Funko Pop. I would like to see more of the, uh, what are they, creatures myths. or myths? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, myths. I would like to see more of the myths in black light. I think that would be kind of oh fun. Oh my gosh, it would be so much fun. Could think you about imagine? a Medusa. Yes, Medusa or like a Pegasus black light. Oh my God, that would be great. And the Kraken. Oh my God. Imagine the, the Kraken or the Chupacabra. That would be oh really cool. Gosh. So Funko, we're yelling it out now. Let's see more black light myth creatures and let's put them up on Funko Shop. Yeah, so Dylan doesn't have to sell his soul for one of these <laughs> <laughs> to get them to us. Thank you so much, Dylan. This thing is freaking awesome. Before the video is out, we're going to shine a black light on this one. Ooh. We got to see what he looks like underneath the black light. Oh, you know he's going to be bright. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this is interesting. This is a different two-pack Oh, sword. yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. So this is the Phil and Lil two-pack. And by the way, you know how if they lower the price on a pre-order item, you get the difference back? Yes. I got a penny back. What? They gave me a penny refund. Oh, oh look at you. my God. Hold on, have they ever made them before? No, they've never made Phil and Lil. This is the first time we're ever getting Phil and Lil? Yes. That is so weird, right? Because they made like a huge line of the Rugrats like years ago. It had Reptar and Tommy. I thought they made Phil and Lil, no? Mm -mm. And they, wow. they did the other Rugrats recently too, or different iterations of them recently. Oh, these are great though. Yeah, these Phil and Lil are brand new. Phil and Lil DeVille, that's their name? Yeah, you didn't know that? No, but that's awesome. What names? That's amazing, right? Yeah, they're really, really cool. And I'm so excited that they have things in their hands. Right. They have, it looks like a mud pie and a worm. Yes, yep. And uh, Phil has a frog. Yeah, it looks like they've been playing outside or something. That's they're a really sort great of set. like gross. You mean in the show? Yeah. They're gross in the yeah, show? Yeah, like they're, they're into this shit oh, okay. more than the other babies. So these just arrived from Funko Shop and this Funko Pop right here is a grail in my opinion. This is something I've been really wanting ever since I saw the preview photo for it. It's Spider-Man, which I'm very surprised they didn't use Peter Parker because he is unmasked. I figured that's what they would write on there is like Peter Parker since you see his face. But this is Battle Damage Spider-Man from No Way Home. This Funko Pop is so cool. He looks incredible. I love, I mean, it doesn't say battle damage, but that's what I've been calling him. It's because his face is sort of all torn up. And this is the very, like, almost the end scene of the film where he fights Green Goblin. Green Goblin throws, like, one of those grenades and it blows up and he gets all f***ed up. And that's how uh, Aunt May dies. Mm -hmm. And I've always said that this Funko Pop would be great if we just had a dead Aunt May. Yeah, you've Moment. been saying that. <laughs> All right, so there is the battle damaged Spider-Man. I don't know if they used this mold for any other of the Spider-Man figures. I don't think they did. I think they used this specifically for this Spider-Man, yeah. which is really crazy because typically they'll reuse a mold like this over and over and over again. Typically you would get like a battle damaged Spider-Man on a body that they already had a mold for. Yes. Right? So like a common body would be on here, but they went all out on this Funko Pop. Interesting. I wonder if past this point we're going to see more because Maybe. they do really love to reuse molds. Absolutely. But the design on here looks really great. I like that he has some like cuts and things on his outfit, like on his uh, costume. I love this Funko Pop. I'm super happy about it. And if I ever met Tom Holland again, he signed a two pack that I have from Best Buy. If I meet him again, I would definitely have him sign this Funko Pop. This is my favorite pop, I think, so far this year. You say that about, like, every pop. I'm going to say it a lot, Heather. Prepare your pants. This next one is really, really special. I'm going to cry if I talk about it, so you're going to have to talk about it. You're going to cry? Why would you cry, Heather? You'll see. Oh, my God. You didn't tell me this was coming. It's our friend Bob A. Donut. This is our good friend right here, Tyler. 
And uh, unfortunately, he recently passed away just before Christmas time. Uh, but we wanted to have a Funko Pop made in his memorial for his family. And this is the Funko Pop that we will be giving his family. And it comes in a very custom box. It looks like from top to bottom, this thing is totally customized. Look at this. Look, the donut on the back, his little logo. This cool custom was created by Jeff Funko Poppin. Wow, what a, what a tribute. Can I just say that Jeff was so sweet and so easy to work with? He did such a brilliant job on this, and I know for a fact that Tyler would absolutely be over the moon about this Funko Pop. We had this Funko Pop made with funds that we had raised for Tyler. We also raised some funds for a charity as well. Tyler was so loved by our little community in the Gasocast We Hunt Together group, and we were able to collect some funds for his family's meal train, as well as Duchenne's muscular dystrophy charity which Tyler unfortunately suffered from and we hope that what we have collected can help in some way and we really hope that his family loves us. Tyler, this one's for you, buddy. He would be losing his mind if he saw this right now. Thank you so much, Jeff. All right, so last but not least, we have a bunch of Eddie Funko Pops. Look at this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to be giving away, you know what? We're not giving away just one right here on the channel. We're going to give away two. And then we're going to give away two more during our Patreon call as well. Because we want to spread joy and get more Eddie Munsons out in the world. And that's what we're here to do. These Funko Pops are amazing. We love this character. Everybody loves this character. And uh, I'm, I'm excited that we can get them into some people's homes for free. But if you live in a different country than the United States, we will pay $5 towards shipping, but the rest will be on you. If you're in the United States, we will cover shipping as well. This Eddie is 100% real. 100% real. Mm -hmm. Very good. We so I, I have ours that was picked up from Target. I have compared it to the other one because a lot of people, there was a rumor that like they weren't real and they were like the new fake. These aren't face. So ours is the one he has a little scuff unfortunately. On his eye. Yeah, he yeah fell. On, his, on his eye. He ended up falling. He got a little fucked up. Everything about this guy is real. It is exactly the same. Totally legit. Yeah. So just to offset any rumors, this is 100% real. Now I will say that on top of the boxes there is like a minor, very minor crease. It looks like on all of them as if they were like something was pushing down into all of them in exactly the same spot. I don't know where that comes from but I'm letting you know in advance that there are like little scrapes on the top of the box but yeah. the rest of the box looks fantastic. I don't even think that the camera would pick it up but yeah. it's like right here. It Yeah, it looks like something had like sat on it or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but they all look great. The Funko Pops look great. I know that I'm keeping one of these because one of mine has a little scrape on his face so we'll have one that's more perfect but if you want to win one of the two Eddies that we'll be giving away through this video, in the comment section use hashtag Eddie Rocks. That's right. Hashtag Eddie Rocks. And you got to spell Eddie the way that the name is spelled on the box. E-D-D-I-E. -D -D -E. So Eddie Rocks. In the comment section down below and we will select two winners at complete random. We didn't even mention the price. These were $8 a piece. Oh my god. Yeah, that's less than retail at Target. That's and amazing. Yeah, Target's relatively inexpensive with their retail. But our friend Tafik sent these to us and I just want to say thank you so much for this. Again, we're giving two away on the channel, two away on Patreon, and keeping one because our Eddie has a weird scuff mark. Thank you so, so much. What store do these come from again? What's it called? Like Save a Mart or something? Like, I don't know, like Dollar General Sister or something. I don't know. Yeah, I had a weird name though, for real. What I was know it called? it did. Do I don't know. You We've know, already been through this. We have a mutual agreement. That I'm you're the, stupid? Yes, and you're the smart one and you remember everything. Exactly. And you didn't keep up on your side of the deal. You better stop getting so rowdy. These aren't all of ours. There's somebody's out there. <laughs> what, if, what if I walked out with a baseball bat to the fire? Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom! And I hit them all. <laughs> that would trigger so many people. How much were these again? Five? Eight. They're eight dollars a piece? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow, I thought they were five. That's crazy.
wow, what a day. Um, Phil and Lil. Uh, we got the Spider-Man Miles Morales. We got that guy. We got this awesome custom Tyler. And then we have uh, our Bigfoot. And we got to shine Bigfoot underneath the black light. We got to at least yes, do that. Yes, we do. But we want to know your thoughts about all of this stuff that we have here in front of us and more in the comment section down below. So there he is underneath the black light and he looks amazing. The blue and the green are popping. Even the little marshmallows popping as well. What do you think, Heather? He is incredible. Wow. Yeah, I think he might be my favorite Bigfoot that has come so far. He is f***ing cool. Thank you so much, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan, you're the man. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Mark Wright, Veronica Knotts, David Azadorian, Harley Malk, Donald Lomax, Marcus Gonzalez, Nathan Maidman, Devontae McFarlane, Wayne Garber, and Gregory and Angel Gast. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate you. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.